Hey everybody, it's Haruan here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm going to show you guys how to create this effect where you have an actual video playing inside a photo or anything with a frame really. Okay, so we're going to start with Mocha Pro to do the tracking. Um, so first of all, go to Mocha and then File, New Project and click on Choose and select your raw footage that you're going to be using. Okay, then on the new project window, click on advanced and change the frame offset to zero. That will basically just um, make your project start at frame zero and not at frame one, which makes things a little bit easier when you're using After Effects. Okay, so you have got a clip of me holding a little photo and as you can see, it's one of those old photos with the nice white frame around it. This kind of photo makes it a bit easier, but I'm sure you can get away with uh, any kind of photo really. So let's go to the first frame and then you're going to click on this icon here at the top. Uh, create your X-spline and first of all let's zoom in a little bit. And we're going to draw a X-spline just around the actual photo. Like that and then you right click to get out of that. Then what you can do is just drag the edges a little bit out so you're actually covering the photo. Okay, then once you're done with that, you're going to click on this button here to show your planar surface. And then what you want to do is you want to drag out these edges to actually cover the photo exactly. And this corner as well. Okay, once you're done with that, we're going to start tracking. So then you can click on track forward. Alright, so once you're done with your track, we're just going to quickly scroll through this and it looks like it's a very good track. Um, if you have any trouble with your track, if it moves around a bit, you can go to adjust track and then just change your adjustments here to just fine tune it a bit. Okay, so once you're happy with your track, we're going to go back to the starting frame. Make sure you're on track and then you're going to click on export tracking data. Okay, now here you want to select After Effects Corner Pin Supports Motion Blur dot text, and then we're going to click on Copy to Clipboard. Right now we're going over to After Effects, and we're going to drag in your raw footage, and just create a new composition with that. And the next step you want to do is right click and create another new composition. Make sure it's the same size, uh, one iron twenty by one o eight o, and click on OK. And then drag this new composition into your existing composition on top of the raw footage. Select the new comp and go to f edit and then paste. Okay, that will basically paste that uh, corner pin onto your original footage. Okay, to test the corner pin, go to your composition that you created and create a new solid. Let's just make it bright green. Click OK, make sure it's fitting the comp size. Go back to your raw footage and you'll see there is your corner pin. Now as you can see it's not exactly perfect, um, it's got some lines around the edges. So what we want to do is we want to extend the size of this composition just to grow a little bit bigger basically to fit those lines on the sides. So we're going to go to this composition we created, go to composition settings and let's just add some frames here. Let's add 20 frames here and same here, let's add 20 frames here, so this should be 100. Click on OK. And now you need to adjust your solid obviously as well. So right click on your solid, go to transform, fit to comp. OK, let's go back and now it's looking a bit better. OK, the next step is to bring in your video or the replacement footage basically that you want to show on the photo. So I'm going to drag that in. And then we're going to go to your composition that you created with a green background. Drag in that video. You can actually delete the green solid now. And you've got your animation in there. Okay, so let's go to the original footage. And there we go. Okay, so as you can see, it's not fitting exactly. So go to your comp, right click on the footage, click on transform, fit to comp. And there is your animation or your video playing inside your photo. 
obviously now you can go onto this composition that you created go to effect and you can add all sorts of effects here maybe like a slight blur to that uh, maybe just like a two pixel uh, blur to make it fit in with the rest of your your footage all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial you know what to do and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>